Hello. Good, good evening, teacher. Hi, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I can hear you. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes, Loud and clear. Right, nice. How are you? Fine. Drinking coffee. <laughs> All right, good. That's good. A huge quantity of coffee. It's hot today, huh? What? Today is very hot. Yes, here, it's here where I live is is fresh actually. Oh yeah. Oh man, I envy you. Now I can hear you, teacher. <laughs> no, you you hear so far. No. What about now? No. What about now? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, good. Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Nice. Thank you. And this is the only thing I don't like about Zoom. It's very complicated when you put a, a mic in. It gives you many options. Teacher, but uh, in my school, we use uh, Google Meet. Yes. It is good, but uh, mete mucho ruido. I don't know how to say it. A lot of sound, but you can you can eliminate the background noise. Yes, but aunque haga eso, siempre se escucha algo de ruido. Really? Cuando se está interactuando, es decir, si se abren, if, if you open five mics uh, to, to do a question, answering questions, uh, there are a lot of noise. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes. And we have the, the enterprises version. I think that that is a, a bad service because the sound isn't clear. It's true. Only if, if uh, me as a teacher, uh, I'm I, I am talking to the to the to the boys and girls. It is very clear, but. If we try to open five or, or, or ten mic, microphone, uh, a lot of noise, uh, we can hear a lot, a lot of noise. Wow, okay, okay, I see. Okay, class, uh, yeah, maybe in that way Zoom is better. <laughs> I think that, yes. Zoom made a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money with this pandemia. Okay, do you see the screen, class? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, yes. let's see the last video, I think it is. You're we saw it yes. The very last video of this course. Let's do we hope you enjoy them. We suggest that you can keep on watching and practicing your language. Well, remember what this was about? We were talking about the um, people that ride bicycles, people that walk in the street. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Today, I, I want to say something about this. Uh, uh, 
uh, Cycling Federation in El Salvador, they recommend that you have a, a, a follower car because of your own security. Uh, in a lot of situation, a lot of people have uh, accident in, in this kind of uh, situation because they went in the uh, bikes and in one microbus. How I don't know how to say a microbus. A microbus uh, uh, crashes. It hits you. Yes, eh, los atropellaba y muchos muertos, algunos muertos, unos sin pie. Yeah. And nowadays, we, we don't have a vital education about eh, convivir. What is the word for convivir? Coexist. <laughs> yes, eh, to coexist eh, in eh, cars and bikes. It, it is really dangerous if you are going. Yeah, I, I, I think part of this is culture. Yes, yes. And it's good that the cycling organization recommends that. The problem is that El Salvador is not. Prepared for that. <laughs> yes, it's not made. I mean, they should make us a place only for cycling. You know? Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yes, but the, the problem is that sometimes cyclers, they want to ride a bicycle in any street and they have to understand that that is very dangerous. We, we don't have a, a more space or a specific space for the, the cycling. The, yes, it's true. And, and in this case, uh, bikes are part of the traffic. That's true. The, and the question is that uh, as a biker, we are a slow, slow uh, than, slower, sería, slower than, slow, cars, slower than, slower than the, the, the car. That is the problem. It's true. You're right. Okay, so, um, but maybe someday in the future it will get better. Yeah, yeah. Because now, for example, now I see people are more responsible with their pets. With their what? With their pets, like with their dogs and cats. Okay. I mean, some people are more responsible, not everybody. But remember before, people have dogs and just to have dogs. Yes. Because now uh, the law about the take care of the pet is better. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Because it's for this reason the many of people uh, respect the law of animals or the lives of animals. It's true. It's true. Okay, let me see. Let me see this here. Okay, let's do here giving recommendations, ADN opinions. I think they want to say and opinions. Yes, you're right. <laughs> okay, let's let's hear this. Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. 
People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi. I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so what is the difference between an opinion and a necessary? Uh, as he said, number uh, one, cyclist. Hey, look, look what it says here. Hey. We think something is absolutely necessary. We use my hey. be quiet, lady. It's a loop. She got stuck. Okay, so must and have to is necessary and should is an opinion, correct? Correct. So like we were talking about cycling right now. Um, I mentioned that, you know, the cycling association should, should determine a cycling area. Moises, you told me that um, cyclists in El Salvador must, or they have to ride with a with a car behind them. Yes, federation the recommends that because uh, of all the accidents that has passed. Okay, because yes, okay, so that is the difference when you think something is necessary or just an opinion. And, and they know that not all the people have a car. Uh, for that, they recommend if you if you can do it. If you don't, take the risk. <laughs> yes, it's true. All right. Next, we have here. The knowledge check. Okay, so does everybody understand the difference between have to and must? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes, sure. yeah, that's, so, yes. that's what you told, told us. Yes, remember, good. So listen, let's do the knowledge check. It says instructions, complete the sentences positively or negatively. Use the verb in parentheses with a modal. No capital letters or periods are needed. People blank to use cell phones while driving. That's, what do you think? People shouldn't be allowed or people should not be allowed? Or shouldn't be, should be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. What's the shouldn't. difference between shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed and shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed? It's the same. Shouldn't be allowed, allowed or should not be allowed. Yes, I'm sorry, these two are the same. In this case, uh, it won't be a must, mustn't. In my opinion, 
good, uh -huh. Moises. In my opinion, I think it's mustn't. Uh -huh. Because I think that's something like really necessary. Yes. It's not an opinion, it's like a necessity. People mustn't use the cell phones when they're driving. It's like, listen to this. Class, you should not drink and drive or you mustn't drink and drive. You mustn't, you mustn't drink and drive. You mustn't. you mustn't drink and drive. Do you know why? Do you know what is the consequence? Yes, die. <laughs> no, pueden botar el trago, man. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I was thinking about it. Too. <laughs> yeah, you know, be careful. You can drop your beer. They are going to waste the, the alcohol. Yes, the liquor. Okay, next it says, young, uh, I'm sorry, number one, it says people blank. So we have. The hell? My phone is crazy. So people blank to use their cell phones while they're driving. What do you think it is? The answer? Shouldn't be allowed. Should be allowed. Should not be allowed to use the cell phones while driving. Young people blank to get married before age 15. Must, 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 not be, must be permitted. permitted. It is W W T. Where? And permitted. Permitted. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Next, companies blank to give workers periodic breaks. Should, Should be required. Should be. Bueno, aquí aquí va un punto. Si uno es dueño de una empresa, va a decir, should be required. Si uno es empleado, va a decir, must <laughs> be required. Yeah. So what, what should we do? We should be required. Yeah, companies should be required to give workers periodic breaks. In El Salvador, that is a, that they do that, correct? Yeah, yes, for a fitness break. <laughs> yes, it's a coffee break. But they use it just for coffee or something like that. That's true. Number but, four says people blank to have pets in their high rise apartment. Must not allow. Should shouldn't not be, be allowed. Should not should not be allowed. Shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. Y otra vez, it, this depends. This, I mean, the two are correct. <laughs> but like example, if you are an animal activist, yeah. like a super animal lover, you will say, "Hey, pets must not be allowed to." What? Uh, people must not be allowed to have pets in a high-rise apartment. Of course, some people with just conscience could say, you know, pets shouldn't be allowed. Yes. Okay, number five, scientists blank to use animals for research. Moral question. Excuse me? Should not be permitted. This is a moral question. Be permitted. The, the thing is that scientists use it for the well-being to the human. Yes, I, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking animals should be permitted. Some animals. Yes. <laughs> like rats. Rats is okay. <laughs> you know what? Like non-constructive animals. Or mareros. Or diputados. Hey, did you see Tia Bubu? She's free.
What was that? Did you see that on the news that Tia Bubu quedó libre? I don't know, actually. Well, she did. Uh, she was condemned for three years. Yeah. Three years of jail. De cárcel, pero lo tiene que hacer en ayuda comunitaria. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine por conspirar de robar millones al gobierno, al, al pueblo, tres años de ayuda yes, comunitaria. Sir. This is ridiculous. But you know what I think? You know what I think personally? Uh -huh. I think Funes contacted the fiscal and he said, you know what? Dale algo suave and I will pay you. People will criticize you. People will hate you, but I will pay you all the money. Maybe. Yes, this is true. Because, the... yeah, because when you have money, you have power. Money, money is power. You can pay anybody. And imagine Funes supposedly has millions and millions and millions of dollars. Imagine he tells the fiscal, hey, I will give you $5 million or $1 million. Do me the favor. I aguanta la crítica que te va a venir, pero papá, you're set for life. Maybe I think because it's ridiculous the law. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke, yes. Okay, so scientists blank to use animals. So some people say should not, some people say should. I think it should not be permitted. Okay, should not be. Did I put permit? Okay, permitted. Number six, laws blank to ban the sale of handguns. What is ban? Very good. Ban is prohibir. Must be passed. Must be passed. OK, very good. People say here must be passed. Must be passed. So ban is, for example, I think it must not be. Pass. No, well, it depends. Do you want guns or you don't want guns? Okay, okay. Well, yeah, it depends. I, I, I got mean, it. I got it. Yes, it's subjective here. <laughs> For example, in um in Germany. Nazi propaganda is banned. Incluso hasta penalizada, I think. The Nazi propaganda. Ahí viene la palabra banned. I think in Cuba, iPhones are banned. <laughs> Obvio. In Venezuela, Coca-Cola is banned? No, right? But you understand banned, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, the sales of, of fur products mm, should, should be permitted. Shouldn't, shouldn't be permitted. Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. For me, sure. And what does mean for teacher? Yell the animal. Yell. Yell. What does mean? Nunca me sale en candon sweat. Hey, que, que linda tu, tu chaqueta. Ah, toca. Yell, okay. Es de león. <laughs> That's lion fur. Son los, los el pelo de... I'm not, you think it's good? Maybe it depends on the, the giving opinion. 
because in I don't know which is the city or the country. Sorry, uh, I doing that. Um, I don't know. Is uh, artificial uh, skin of animal? Okay, yeah, that that's an option. That's a good option. I was reading that um, in the Nazi era, in the World War II, some wives of Nazis, the Nazi soldiers, the wife, they made lamps. They made lamps with the skin. Con la piel de judíos. Can you imagine that? So weird. Lamparas, <laughs> yeah. Teachers, they did it. Uh, comes to comes. Uh, well, a lot of things with uh, uh, material material from the Jews. <laughs> yes, it's sad. It's very very sad. Okay, now next number eight. Something blank to stop clubs from staying open so late. That's impossible. Should, should not be done. Should not be done. Should not be stopped or should be stopped? Something should be done. Should not be done. Or should be done? Yeah, it depends. The problem here is that discotheques, they stay open until 3 and 4 in the morning. Are you okay with that? No. Oh, entonces, something should be done to stop clubs from staying open so late. I think that in this case, it uh, must be must be done because it's like a law in, in El Paso del Carmen. Uh, they permit uh, to have open until 2 a.m. Yes. Okay, eso sí están en contra, si están a favor que queden tarde, entonces you say, hey, something shouldn't be done to stop clubs from staying open so late. Ustedes saben que en Europa realmente la gente empieza a parrandear como a las 12. Yeah, it's true. In Barcelona, for example. Yeah, I think it's better that the early is different imagine here i mean people start partying here at eight or nine para terminar a la one or two but over there that's the time you start all right so something should be done y para variar les apuesto que casi todas van a estar malas Yes, teacher, I, I, I want uh, to question this. What is the criterion <laughs> to, to know what is the, the, the correct uh, answer? I think that's a good question. I think the cr cr criteria is the situation or who is saying it. Let me give you an example of that, of that animal. If you're an animal activist, then yes, you will say something must be done or, okay, like let's say, let's say if you are a female activist, something must be done uh, to stop women getting killed. But if you're not a woman activist, you're just a normal activist, you know, like normal, you see, you can say, man, something should be done about all these women disappearing. Yes, but in this case, I think that is easy because we are talking about death and life. Yes, that, that's what I'm saying. It depends on the situation and who is saying it. Okay. Porque por, vaya, si hablamos de leyes, les apuesto que los areneros y los de nuevas ideas tienen muy diferentes ideas. 
sobre las plazas fantasmas. Yes, yes. But la, la, lo de nuevas ideas están diciendo something must be done to to investigate that. Los otros que están culpables van a decir yeah, I, something should be done to investigate that. So that's your answer. I mean, it depends. It depends on how, ser how serious you are. Okay. For example, in my case, let me give you an example. Um, I think, so, I, I think, please don't, let me finish. I think Donald Trump was, was a good president in some things. Who? Donald Trump. Okay. No, he, no, wait. I don't think he was a good president, but I think he had good ideas. For example, I think, I think the wall, the wall was a good idea. The wall, okay. Because, um, I understand why people want to go to the United States for a better life, et cetera. That, that's perfect, that's understandable. But the problem is, the problem is not crossing the border of the United States now. The problem is crossing Mexico. You know, I, that's the big problem. I have in La Colonia where my father lives. Um, I know I have a, yeah, he's my friend. I, se lo conozco. He got his papers. He went to the United States and um, imbécil mandó a traer a su novia. Ilegal. La tienen los carteles right now. They want $20,000. Ya le dio cinco mil después. Can you imagine that? My friend is in the United States. He's going crazy. He, he, he's like pain, pain. Because the problem is that the carteles, they recognize you. Ah, no, este va para allá. They, they recognize if you're a tourist or if you're crossing. And they tell you, si vas para allá, alguien te está esperando. So call them right now and tell them to deposit $3,000, $5,000, $10,000. So that's the problem of, you know, before the problem was crossing from Mexico to the United States. Now the problem is crossing Mexico. So I, I think the idea of Donald Trump was good. You know, to, if you build a wall, people stop. It's more dangerous for people. And, and another thing I don't understand Yo estuve hablando una vez en, lo encontré en Defensa Don Juan. Era un coordinador de las caravanas. And I was speaking with him and I, and I asked him, and I said, that's not good. Because people think, oh no, I have a cousin, él gana 30 dólares la hora. Yeah, people think that because you're in the United States, you will make good money. No saben de que hoy el gobierno puede, le cae una multa horrible a una empresa que le esté dando empleo a indocumentados. A cada vez se pone tan difícil ser indocumentado, ¿ya? Entonces, por eso yo pensé de que este hombre haciendo esa pared, que él no lo estaba haciendo por esa razón, obviamente, pero... Eso iba a parar a mucha gente de querer seguir. But it didn't work. Like, for example, do you remember that that man or that young man that he was floating with his daughter? Yes. yes. In the yes. river? Yes, yes, sure. I am sorry, but I think that was a very stupid person. Really, when I saw that, it really impacted me. I wanted to cry. But then I think and I said, I love my son so much. I will not risk my son's life. Never in my life 
will I risk my son? What the hell was this person thinking to cross with his daughter? That's, that's, imagine, yes, imagine all the families, hay gente que mandan a traer sus niños de ocho años, confían que se lo lleven coyotes, y los explotan sexualmente. Es, es, ah. People don't think. When I saw, when I saw the report of that man, I, I don't know if I feel sad or angry. I was very angry. Because I understand, okay, if you have necessity, okay. But don't take your daughter. Don't take your wife. But imagine, would you do that? Would you cross the water with your baby? I know. What is that saying? Oh, the must and should. Talking about Donald Trump. Yeah, so uh, I remember Donald Trump said we must build that wall. You know, another, uh, an, I'm yeah. sorry. Another fact about Donald Trump: he was the first president since 90, uh, 1928 who not started a war. Yes, he never went to war. <laughs> and Barack Obama deported more people than him. It's true. So, oh, but you know what I what I liked about Donald Trump how he always pointed China. And also he was doing all the things that he promised. Yes, he was. I think the only problem was his character. He was. And the COVID, the COVID yes. was a problem. Pero yo disfrutaba tanto ver las entrevistas de él porque eran, cuando le hacían una pregunta tonta, you're stupid. <laughs> you are because a stupid reporter. <laughs> he's a bully. Yes, he was a bully. He is a bully. Did you see that problem he had with um, Jorge Ramos? No, I can't remember. But really, really, Jorge Ramos was very stupid in that interview. And what was the problem? Okay, I don't know what happened to Jorge Ramos, but now because he's independent, he's an independent reporter. I, I imagine they pay him very good. <laughs> so the problem was that Donald Trump was giving a conference. Yes? Yeah. And estaba así, okay, you, next, next, next. And he was talking to a reporter and then Jorge Ramos started saying, why the immigration? Blah, 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 okay. And Donald Trump said, shut up. It's not your turn. <laughs> yeah. And then he wait for your turn. He's right. He's right. Yeah. And then, but Jorge Ramos continued. He says, wait for your turn. Respect. I'm talking to her. And he, he was like a little kid. Cuando decías, and the little kid, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, so Donald Trump, lo sacó. And really, I am Latino. Jorge Ramos is Latino, pero se lo mereció, man. He was, Jorge Ramos was acting stupid. Pero I think that's what Jorge Ramos wanted. He wanted that attention for the drama. You know, because hey, cabal, Donald Trump eh, echa a los latinos, a los reporteros, but no, he... Yeah. He was interesting. He was an interesting character. <laughs> <laughs> I think that he is a bully. He is. He was very bad in some things. But he was a very interesting character. Yeah. Entonces, ahí está el criterio regresando a must or should. In my opinion, in my opinion, the wall, the wall project must continue. Maybe in other people's opinion, no, the wall project must not continue. You know, so. Y me cae mal todo eso que antes maná, que no sé qué, que. Vino a la pared, pues sí, they live in a mansion in 
in Miami and Los Angeles and yo digo, wow, cuiden a su gente, man. No los don't no lo motiven. Let me give you an example, okay? My wife, she's a dentist. She had her assistant. Do you know class, do you know what is the difference between university and college? College is uh, when we say technical in university is when we say a title like licenciado, ingeniero, yes. professional. Yes, so for example, to become a dentist, you need to study in the university. To become a dentist assistant, you need to study in college. But good money. So my wife in the clinic where she worked, they had an assistant for 15 years. Pero ella fue de todo, secretaria, assistant. And in 15 years, she really learned a lot. O sea, se podía todo, really, hasta podía hacer limpiezas. But this is the mentality. Se fue a los Estados Unidos. She said that um, her profession in the United States, they make from 25 to $35 an hour. And it's true. But I remember I was recommending her. I said, steady, yes. But to work in that in the United States, you need certification. Usted aquí aprendió a ser asistente, no estudió para hacerlo. You know, and she says, no, but I have experience. Yes, but in the United States, a doctor will not give you he will not give you an opportunity if you don't have the certificate, it's por ley. But she insisted, she insisted. So I don't know what happened. She left, she went illegal to the United, oh, y lo peor sin papeles. So she went illegal to the United States. But the problem was that somebody, imagine her mentality. No, lo que hago aquí, allá, voy a ganar 50 veces más. That was her mentality. So I don't know what happened to her. I always tell my wife, what happened with Esther? Nadie sabe que le pasó. I hope she's okay. But that's the problem. So um, I tell her, and you must have a certificate. No, you should have. You must have. Vamos a decir, hey, si quieren ir a un país, deberían de tener una la visa. No, debes de tener una visa. There's a big difference. So it, it depends how you want to see it, okay? If you're pro or against, ahí, yo creo que ahí está pro o en contra. Ahí es como uno lo ve. Si debería ser necessity or... For example, Anna, what do you think something that must be done in El Salvador? That must be done. Oh, okay. Um, I think that the must be done, uh, the hard liar loud according to the driving a car with the, with the people use alcohol or drinking alcohol. Alcohol? Alcohol. Yes, alcohol. Okay. Uh, but you know, really people don't drink alcohol. They drink liquor. You see, you have alcohol. But... Okay, drinking liquor. Bueno, <laughs> si hay gente... Yes, <laughs> but is that the, <laughs> the law in El Salvador is very weak? Or deep, okay, very so, good. Or weak? Deep? Weak, weak. So you think the laws should yes. be stronger? 
Yes, the more stronger in El Salvador. All right, because, very good. Uh, many people only pass in a prison for uh, 72, 72 hours. No, those are only According areneros. to the laws in El Salvador. <laughs> Yes. Oh, or, or you can kill somebody and pay the family. <laughs> you can be very, very yes, drunk and, and kill a complete family and you're okay if you pay. Yeah, so that's a good point. So, Barana, do you think the laws must change or have to, or should change? They must change. Good. They must be changed. <laughs> I think there should, there must be new, new transit laws about motorcycles. Yes, also because uh, many ride motorcycles, uh, they did, didn't respect the signal of traffic. They don't, yes, they don't, it's true. Okay, so very good. What about? Let me see, let me see. Me. <laughs> All right. What do you think about should be done or must be done in La Fe de Foot? Mm, I think uh, La Fe de Foot must be changed. All of them. <laughs> Excuse me, but the feather food is private, correct? It's private. Or national thing is private. Sadly. That's, that's ironic. Huh? The national Salvadorian soccer team is private. It's private. Inter Forever Sport actually is the owner, I think. So if I am, let's say, if I am a millionaire, I can buy the feather food if I want? Yes. It's true. So Hugo Carrillo, he's a multimillionaire. I don't know, but I think he, he has a business with the Inter Forever Sports. Who pays the Los Cobos, the government or Carrillo? The government. That's weird because, and it's strange too, because the government gives money to the Fede Food. And also, Inter Forever Sport gives money to the Fede Food. Oh, so it's a good business. Yeah, it's a good business. <laughs> oh, interesting. So you think? It, oh, so you think it must be nationalized? Yeah. The the major thing must be returned to to the public to the government, actually. Okay. To the government in this, in this, I think is the is the right dependence it's, of the government. Yes, the in this. Interesting. Nice. Thank you. Welcome. All right. So that's the difference between um, must, should, and have to. Teacher, I have a I have a question. Yes. Shoot. Uh, what What is the the past participle or the verb pass? Pass, like P-A-S-S? -S? Yes. Have passed. P-A-S-T? Yes. It's like, it's, it's, it's a regular verb. So in the simple past and the past participle is the same. For example, okay. how many days have passed after the elections? I don't know, three weeks have passed after the election? 23. 23, well, 23 days. 23 days have passed after the election. Is pa past is P-A-S-S? -S. Yes, that's the verb. That's the verb, and past participle? Past participle and simple past is the same, past. The Mass. only difference is that in past participle is have passed.
Okay. Um, I try to uh, write or type the the verb, the past participle, and the uh, um, the the previous. You can turn turn back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's pass is a uh, final ed. Yes, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I was telling, I was giving it to you wrong. Now I see your question. I'm sorry. Yes, it's have passed. Yeah, I made I made a mistake. I I told this uh, it was a uh, past. No, it's actually past. All right, all right, I I got it. Thank you. All right, all right, good, good, good question. Thank you. All right, let me see what's next. Isn't it? It isn't cheap, is it? Hmm. We're going to see tag questions. All right. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of tag questions for opinion. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part-time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full-time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Okay, let me explain to you what a tag question is. Maybe I can explain, explain to you a little bit easier. When I say you are, it's an affirmation, right? Yes. Okay, so you are Moises. Yes. But if I want to use that in a question, how can I say that? Are you? Are you Moises? Yes. So we have two, two sides. We have the affirmation and the question. You are Moises. Are you Moises? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is hot. What is the question? Is it hot? Is it hot? Mm -hmm. I am beautiful. <laughs> am I beautiful? <laughs> you understand that? Now let's go back and let's do the negative. 
You are not Moises. Yes, I am. Okay. So, but my question is, you are, I'm sorry, my affirmation is you are not Moises. What is the question in negative? You are not. No, no. Uh, so it's, it's very simple, Moises. You are not in negative. Aren't you? Exactly. So aren't you Moises? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, Jose, imagine you are married. What is the negative question? Aren't you, are you married? Aren't you married? Okay, so a tag question is this. En buen salvadoreño es cuando decimos va. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Listen to eh, Ana, usted no está casada, vea. It's like an affirmation. No. <laughs> well, but, but, but do you understand that expression, vea? It's uh, como... <laughs> Estoy seguro, pero aún tengo mi duda. Yes. ¿Cómo decir verdad? Exactly. That is a tag question. When you are sure, but not completely. Okay. Because if you're positive, you solo. Ana, you're not married. But I remember, I remember she's married, but I no me acuerdo así en totalidad. So, Tengo un poquito de duda y la termino con eso. So, Ana, you are married, aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay, that is a tag question. So, if you start with a positive affirmation, you finish with a negative answer. Teacher, I have some problems looking for the pronoun in this. Uh, kind of uh, uh, question. Is for example? The, uh, for example, the, the number two uh, says, there are lots of criminals in the city. Are in there? Yes. Uh, but I think that some ways, uh, some, uh, I don't know why is the word. Uh, alguna veces. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, there is not the pronoun. Well, because when you say there are, is existing or I. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about like something physically. So he it's simple. They. Uh -huh. I don't know. If you I am. He they. is. I am. He is. She is. Pero para hacer esto. Hay que irnos por tiempos. For example, simple present. I am, he is, she is, we are, they are. Yes. So, el mágico González was, uh, well, I'm sorry, está hablando pasado. Está vivo, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. So, okay, good. That's a tag question. So, mágico González, ¿cómo sería that tag question? Is alive. Mágico González is alive. Isn't he? That's the confirmation. Isn't he? Very good. That's the question. So, uh, Mágico González is alive. Isn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y como estoy más seguro que sí lo está, a que no lo está, por eso empecé afirmativo. Mágico González is alive, isn't he? El mágico está vivo, ¿verdad? Pero si ya estoy más seguro que quizá está muerto. Entonces empiezo negativo. Mágico González isn't alive. Is he? Is he? There you go. Okay, class. So that's what we're going to practice tomorrow, okay? The tag questions. Okay. Okay, teacher. Well, very, right, teacher. Una, una cosa muy importante tiene, tiene carácter esto. Igual español cuando nos dicen, 
Hey, el Mike González está vivo, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos así, hasta movemos la cabeza un poco y oh, usamos los, las cejas, la aturamos. ¿eh? Porque nadie, nadie, nunca nadie va a preguntar así. Mágico González está vivo, ¿verdad? Mm. Nadie habla así. Pues cuando me pongas cosas que tienen que ir con carácter, como, hey, bra, Mágico, Mágico González está vivo, ¿verdad? Yeah. You know, so, yeah, so people say, hey, Mágico González is alive, isn't he? Similar to most, we, we have to use uh, Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, class. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night.